All right, welcome back to Wicked Kitchen, guys. Today we are making a very simple staple recipe, simple baked tofu, okay? This is a staple in my kitchen and hopefully it is yours as well. Be sure to stay tuned. All right, baked tofu is such a versatile protein to have on hand. When I make this, I will make maybe three or four blocks of tofu baked. We can put it in, I put it in the fridge. My kids use it for wraps and sandwiches. I throw it into stir fries. You can throw it into pot pies. It is such a great, great utility ingredient to have on hand. So, so what I've done here is this is extra firm tofu. So even when it's firm tofu, I like to press it. Okay, so this is a clean towel, obviously, and I've just pressed it. I had to wait on it for a little while, and that's removed a lot of the a lot of the moisture. And tofu is like a sponge, okay? So once you actually remove the moisture, whatever moisture that you add to it is absorbed. So I'm just gonna slice this into planks. So extra firm tofu is crucial for this recipe. You don't want it to be too soft, all right? So we have super simple, all right? I have a little bit of olive oil, which you can omit, but the olive oil I think gives it a nice crispness. I have some tamari. Okay, almost equal parts. A Little bit more salt, just a touch. All right, and that's it. All right, so it's basically those two ingredients, those three ingredients. So I have a baking tray. Just wanna spray it real fast. And we are just gonna lay those out. So you wanna preheat the oven to 375. All right, and these will bake for about 40 minutes. Okay, so, so I'm just gonna brush them. You know, I, I like to make like all different kinds of marinades and sauces. I like to work with the base of a baked tofu, okay? And when you have baked tofu as the base, it gives you that much more chew, okay? Tofu, a lot of people tend not to like tofu because it really doesn't have much flavor. But use that to your advantage, you know? Add as much flavor as you can with the sauces and condiments that you're serving with it. But when you bake it, you're getting that little bit of caramelization on the outside. You're really changing the texture and it is just so nice to have around. So I just brushed one side, I'm gonna do the other side as well. So you can mix up the ingredients. Obviously this is super simple. This is really a base recipe. So I have the olive oil and tamari here. You can add a little bit of sweetener to this. You can add a little, a little maple, a little sugar. You can add a little bit of acid to it. Play with those different flavor profiles to make a nice marinade to brush on. Okay, so this is just a base baked tofu, but really the sky's the limit when it comes to flavor development with baking this. So after I brush on all of this, it's good to go. So once you have brushed the olive oil and tamari on there, I'm gonna put this in the oven at 375, bake it for about 40 to 45 minutes, and flip it halfway through. All right, so let's check on that tofu here. It smells good. Let's go ahead and flip that. It's about halfway done. So these will cook for another, I would say, I would say another, probably another 20 minutes. All right, make sure those aren't touching so much. Give them room to cook. It's going back in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so let's check on that baked tofu here. That is good. Nice. All right, you can tell it actually shrunk in size too, quite a bit. And this is, you can see, that caramelization, these have tightened up. This is ready. This is ready to come out of the oven and it is ready to store for the next dish. So good. Again, a, definitely a staple recipe in my home. You can mix it up with the marinades, with the sauces that you add, but it is so nice in sandwiches and in wraps. Dice it up, put it in stir fries, put it in pasta dishes. All right, there you have a absolutely delicious staple recipe right here, simple baked tofu. This is so versatile, as I mentioned, one of my favorite recipes that we have on our YouTube channel using it is this banh mi here with a lemongrass sweet and sour tofu. So good. Make sure you make it, make sure you store it, make a lot, double the recipe if you need to. And thank you so much for joining us today. If you enjoy this recipe, be sure to subscribe. And until next time, happy cooking.